today we're here with a very, very exciting reading vlog. Let's just get into it. I'm going to be reading my one of my most anticipated releases of 2021. This book came out only a few days ago and I already have it in my hands because I was a good girl and I pre-ordered it like I said I would in my 2021 goals video. Um, and that book is The First Day of My Life by Lisa Williamson. Lisa Williamson is one of my very few auto buy authors. I just buy her books instantly. I don't need to know what they're about. I just go into them and have a whale of a time reading them. And I have binged every single one of her books in an entire day and I have read all her books. She has um, three books out, this is her fourth book out, uh, The Art of Being Normal, uh, Paper Avalanche and All About Mia. I gave The Art of Being Normal five stars and the other two four stars. This one has got brilliant reviews already so I'm really, really expecting a lot from this book. Might be going into it with a little bit of a high expectation but I can't wait to delve into it. I always read her books in an entire day so I thought what a better way to spend my Saturday in lockdown and to read her most recent book in an entire day. So I'm very, very excited to get started. It is currently coming up to 12, 11.30 in the morning on Saturday and I should fly through this in about four or five hours. Um, but obviously I'm not gonna binge it all in one sitting, but who knows, it depends. Uh, I do that a lot with Lisa Williamson. I will start her book and next thing I realise I have finished it. So I can't wait to get started. What is this book about, you say? Well, I don't know, so let's read it together. I actually do know because I've already filmed this intro once, but we're gonna pretend I don't know. There are three sides to every story. It's GCSE results day, Frankie's best friend Jojo is missing, and a baby has been stolen. And then more than one person has been lying. Frankie's determined to find out the truth and her ex-boyfriend Ram is the only person who can help her. But they're both in for a shock. Everything is about to change. So I'm very, very excited. I think this book is like 350 pages. Yeah. I should finish this in no time and should definitely finish it in a day, but we shall see. I'm so excited to get into it. So without further ado, let's get to reading. The dust jacket is coming off, which means reading is about to commence. Let's go. Okay, first chapter or prologue. Intrigued already. <laughs> surprise, surprise, I'm in my reading spot. It's my favorite reading spot lying on the back of Stitch. But literally, <laughs> I'm, um, what am I? 16 pages in and very controversial, not in anything serious. The characters put her chocolate in the fridge. <laughs> um, I am, to, a, to be fair, the chocolate is specifically Frere Rocher's. Um, Frere Rocher's do not belong in the fridge, just to put it out there. Um, but I want to know, so leave a comment in the comments below if you're a chocolate in the fridge person or not. I am when it comes to dark chocolate, but nothing else. So leave a comment down below what your side of the scope is relating to chocolate in the fridge. Yes or no, I'll be interested to know. But loving this already so far, I'm flying through it. Yay. Sorry, I'm back again really quickly, but I'm like having deja vu. Have I read this story before? Because it sounds and reads a lot like Goodbye Perfect by Sarah Bernard. The best friend who isn't great at school, which is our main character and who we follow, has a best friend who is really good at school and has run away, but has left no trace. Literally the same as Goodbye Perfect. I'm literally rereading the same story. Oh, I hope it gets better from here. And now they're hinting that it, Jojo could have a crush on a teacher and that is why that she's run away. And I'm just like, this is Goodbye Perfect by Sarah Bernard. This is literally the plot line for Goodbye Perfect by Sarah Bernard. It's actually quite frustrating. <laughs> ah, this is like... My, one of my like auto by authors, I always read all her books and uh, like I'm enjoying it. I love her writing style. Like I'm flying through it. I'm enjoying it. It's just really frustrating to have read pretty much the exact same plot line in a different book. Like I'm sure it's not like, I'm sure it's a coincidence, but it is quite frustrating. I'm almost at the 50 page mark and then I'm going to have a break and go get lunch because it's coming up to um huh, 20 to one actually. Wow. So yeah, this is not good. <laughs> Please pick up. There has to be like a good twist or a turn or something that it isn't the fact that Jojo has run off with her teacher and isn't telling anyone, which is exactly what Goodbye Perfect is. Like to a T. Because I read it last year and I absolutely hated that book. I gave it a two stars. 
not a good start guys another change of uh, location because if I want to read as much as I do today I have to keep switching up but time for some reading snacks I have the veggie Colin and Connie caterpillars so I'm gonna keep reading eating I'm almost at page 100 so still flying through it I still prefer I prefer the characters and the writing style and everything of Good Pie Perfect but I can't not compare it to that it's way too similar not to constantly think I have deja vu so I'm hoping that something changes quickly before um, I just end up feeling the exact same about Good Bye Perfect and I gave that book a two stars so fingers crossed but time to delve into some Colin the Caterpillars I just got to page 100 and we've got the other perspective which is very very exciting because I am actually intrigued to see how Lisa Williamson does this storyline when I already know an author who's done it and I didn't enjoy it so I am interested obviously to see otherwise I wouldn't have continued reading but we get the other perspective so we get Jojo's perspective who is the girl who goes missing so yeah I'm actually quite intrigued now that I discovered that we have a different perspective so let's see if the book improves. I've eaten the entire bag of uh, Colin the Caterpillars. I was stress eating this book just got really intense really quickly and now I'm just like what the fuck is happening but I'm just over 100 pages in I just love Lisa Williamson's writing so much it's just so addictive so I can't wait to continue forget what I said about earlier yes it is similar to Goodbye Perfect but now there's been a massive twist that makes it quite different I am very intrigued to see what happens next yay and i meant to hate the parents jojo's parents as much as i am because they're literally boiling my blood they're so frustrating i think they're meant to be that way i think that's the point of the story but jesus christ could they just fuck off <laughs> i can't really explain why without spoiling the book so yeah i'll just leave it at that but they are very very annoying um i just want to kick them out of the house Hi guys, I thought I'd come in with a quick update because I'm about to get my PJs on, take my makeup off and lounge around for the rest of the evening because my good TV is about to start. I am 100 pages away from the end. This is the most I've read in the day since the new year begun because I said to myself I wasn't going to put pressure on myself this year. So my target has been like 50 pages a day and sometimes I'm not even reaching that, which is brilliant. I'm enjoying not focusing my entire life around reading. But I felt nice today just curling up with a good book and reading a massive chunk. So I am really happy with my progress. I still think I might be able to finish it tonight, but I probably won't be able to update you until tomorrow morning because I won't be able to finish it until later on this evening, kind of past midnight probably. But I'm 100 pages away from the end. Obviously at the beginning, I was like, this is too, it was too similar to Goodbye Perfect. And I gave Goodbye Perfect by Sarah Bernard two stars because I didn't like the storyline. And I was really worried that this book was turning out to be very, very similar. They have similar, pretty much a very similar plot at the beginning where there's two best friends. One is very academically gifted and one isn't. And then the one who is academically gifted randomly without leaving a trace leaves and just disappears and the best friend left behind is on a hunt to try and find her and find the answers. Both of them start the same way and then as we delve in deeper to this story in particular um, it kind of changes drastically and is not very similar to Goodbye Perfect anymore at all and although the beginning plot is similar I think Lisa Williamson has done a better job in telling this story in particular um, I don't think Goodbye Perfect, I'm not like I'm doing a comparison video, that's not what it is, but it's kind of what I am comparing this book to. And I don't think Sarah Bernard had well-developed characters or a kind of well-rounded story. However, Lisa Williamson always draws me in with her characters. I feel so close to each character in this book, the three main characters, which is the two best friends, Jojo and Frankie. Frankie is the one who gets left behind, Jojo is the one who goes missing, and then... Um, Ram, Frankie's ex-boyfriend, also gets involved in the storyline. I love all three of those characters. Lisa Williamson has really flushed them out really well and I'm really enjoying getting to know them all. Um, and I just think the way she's told the story is... I love it so much. I just love her writing style. It's so captivating. It just draws you in from the first page. 
I don't know what it is about her books, but I just absolutely love them. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this one now. It did take me to about the 150 page mark to lose the constant comparison to Goodbye Perfect. But I got there in the end because a massive thing happened. It made me disconnect Goodbye Perfect because the story started to take its own path. And I enjoy the story more, which is great. It's probably going to be like a four stars. Um, I'm really, really excited to see how it ends and what happens. So hopefully I'll finish it tonight. But I absolutely love it. It kind of has disappointed me a little bit just because of the fact of the comparison and the constant comparison I'm automatically making, um, like subconsciously. But yeah, still a good book, but not my favourite one of hers. My favourite one will always be The Art of Being Normal. The Art of Being Normal is about... Um, a young boy who when he goes to school when he's young and everyone has to write what they want to be when he grow when they grow up people put footballers and actors but he wants to be a girl and it kind of follows his story in transitioning and coming out and come to terms with his sexuality and I absolutely love that book and it's incredible and it's one of my favorite books of all time I don't talk about it enough but yeah, that's my favourite book of Lisa Williamson's The Art of Being Normal. Um, I still really enjoy the rest of her books. This one is no exception, but not the best one. Probably like my least favourite so far. But I just love the characters so much. I just, oh, just love, love it. Hi guys, I'm back to wrap up this reading vlog. So yesterday evening I did manage to finish first day of my life. I think I finished it around 11.30 at night. So I went straight to bed and didn't obviously update the vlog. So I'm here to do it now. I ended up really really enjoying this book because I fell in love with the three main characters, Frankie, Jojo and Ram. Um, yes, it constantly reminded me of Goodbye Perfect by Sarah Bernard, but overall I think Lisa Williamson did a better job in telling pretty much the identical story, apart from the reason why the main character runs away. Obviously I'm not going to spoil it, but that reason is very different and due to that difference I started to un kind of a link, unchain the kind of similarities and started to really enjoy this read. This one kind of heavily focuses around um, childbirth without trying to spoil it too much. It's kind of hard to kind of address, like speak about the topics she addresses, but childbirth is a heavy topic in this just to warn you if that is something that you're kind of not able to read about. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this story because once again Lisa Williamson's writing is so captivating just drawed me in from the first page and once again <laughs> I knew I was going to fly through this in one day and I did and it just proves that she just writes such compelling stories I just want to constantly turn the page. Half of that is due to the characters that she creates and the world that she creates. Um, yes it's kind of it's not like the most revolutionary story because I have pretty much read the exact same story before but overall I really enjoyed it I had fun reading it once I got past the comparison of Goodbye Perfect overall I gave it a four stars so yeah if you're interested in picking up Lisa Williamson's works don't think I'd recommend starting with this one I would start with um, The Art of Being Normal um, I absolutely love that book one of my favorite books of all time one my favorite Lisa Williamson's book so if you're now interested in picking up her work I would start with The Art of Being Normal but this has been one of my most anticipated releases of 2021 and it disappointed me ever so slightly just because of that comparison to Sarah Bernard's work but overall I had a fun time reading it and it was an enjoyable read for me so I can't really complain too much so yeah, that wraps up this reading vlog. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of Lisa Williamson's works and which one has been your favourite. I would love to know as you literally don't hear about her work and her books on booktube or whatsoever. And I think she's a very, very underhyped author. So let me know in the comments down below if I've actually in made you intrigued by her work and you want to actually pick up a book of hers now. I would absolutely love that. So let me know in the comments down below. And without further ado, I will leave you to it. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below to see more content from me. And without further ado, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.